What is up guys, so I'm here back with another Season of Mastery video. Today we are going to look at some investments for Phase 1 of Season of Mastery, and it's basically, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the, the basics behind investments, and why you should consider investing in items, and I am also going to give you guys a couple of concrete examples of items I will be investing in, to give you guys an idea of items you can put your money into. Before we move into the video though, I want to let you guys know that I've made and published my own gold making guide for Season of Mastery that contains 38 different gold farms and 36 investments that you can invest into, as well as all of my gold making secrets and the gold making strategies. It is basically the blueprint of how I made gold in Classic WoW, but more tailored towards Season of Mastery. So if you want to up your gold making game in Season of Mastery while also supporting me at the same time, you can check out the guide through the link in the video description and the pinned comment, and by using code SOLHEIM you can save 50% on the purchase. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about investing. So why should you consider investing into items? As Season of Mastery launches, there is quite literally zero gold circulating in the economy, meaning that each individual gold has a lot of purchasing power. On top of that, everyone wants their raw gold to train their class abilities, and also get their mounts at level 40 and level 60, which further increases the value of gold, and gives each individual gold even more purchasing power. Because of the demand for raw gold people need to train people need to train these things, they will offload materials they find while leveling at a very cheap price to get any extra gold that they can, giving you some excellent opportunities to obtain incredibly cheap items. It is basically a buyer's market, because we are in a situation where everyone wants and needs raw gold, while a lot of materials don't become useful until later in the game's lifespan. So why should you consider investing? Well, based on the fact that you can obtain cheap items, you pretty much know they will go up in value at a later point in the game because people will obtain more raw gold, there will be more gold in circulation, and the demand for certain materials are fairly consistent. It basically gives you an opportunity to print gold, and it's not just in order to make gold but also preserve the value of the gold you currently have, because the truth is that having for example 5000 gold in phase 1 is a lot more valuable than having 5000 gold in phase 6, because the gold has more purchasing power, the less the gold is available, and with limited amounts of gold sink in the game, the supply of raw gold will increase over time. So by putting those 5000 gold you have in phase 1 into black lotuses or other materials, then you will preserve the value of your gold and get more gold back when you sell. And by knowing what content will release in which phase, investments aren't really a gamble either, you simply know some things will go up in price. It is basically like time travelling back to 2013 and buying a bitcoin for less than a dollar, when you know it will go up to $60,000 in 2021. So next up, let's talk about some investment strategies. Strategy number one is to look at what's in demand for later phases and buy those materials. For example, in phase 1, 2 and 3, elemental fires will be in high demand because of fire protection potions being used in Molten Core and Blackwing Lair. In phase 5, elemental earth will be in high demand because of nature protection potions being used in Ankirange. And in phase 6, elemental water will be in high demand because of frost protection potions being used in Naxxramas. This is a pretty safe investment strategy that can provide a very good return on your investment. Strategy number two, think outside the box. The best investments are investments that other people don't tell you about, because the simple truth is that the more people know about an investment, the less valuable it becomes, because at that point everyone can do it. This is probably the best investment strategy, if you have the knowledge for it, and it's a high risk, a high reward investment strategy. Strategy number three, buy the rumors, sell the news. Basically, invest in phase four items like a month before phase four comes out, but instead of holding the items until phase four actually comes out, sell them when the release date is announced, because selling the news of a patch, basically selling the news of a patch drop. People like to prepare in advance and people will panic by what they don't have once there's a deadline. We saw this happen in phase 4 of Classic WoW where Mooncloth went up about 500% in price when phase 4 was announced, but it actually went down at the release because people started buying Mooncloth or they bought the Mooncloth they needed 
once they had a release date. So the all-time high for Moonclough was actually the day Phase 4 got a confirmed release date. Strategy number 4, buy specific phase investments and sell them when someone makes a video on it. The simple fact is that when someone uploads a video on let's say phase 6 investments for seasonal mastery, those items will get a lot of attention really quickly and will most likely skyrocket in price. So with this said I think that's a decent quick dive into investing, so let's go ahead and check out some concrete examples of items you can invest into, and once again for a full list of even more items specified into phase 1 investments, phase 2 investments, and all the way through phase 6, check out my gold guide through the link down below. The first and most obvious investment in my opinion is Black Lotus. While the profit margins on this one won't be the same as in Classic WoW due to it now having a chance to drop off of regular herbs in the open world, they will still go up in price over time, and the fact that it can randomly drop from herbs in the open world might actually be a good thing for investing, as that could mean you could get some incredibly cheap Black Lotuses in Phase 1, as a lot of people might find them while leveling up. Next up, Elemental Fire, Elemental Water, and Elemental Earth, as they are used in magic protection potions that are useful for different raids. This is a pretty safe investment, even though they, are, they have increased the availability of all of them in Season of Mastery, this simply means they will be even cheaper in Phase 1, and they are still guaranteed to go up in price with inflation. Next up is a little bit of a weird one, and that is Rugged Hides. Rugged Hides can be used by leather workers to create cured Rugged Hides on a cooldown, and is usually used for passive gold making, and cured Rugged Hides are also used in high-end leather working craft. The reason I bring this up is because I think a lot of people will have skinning while leveling up, to generate some extra raw gold while leveling, and also at max level, so based on the population being at its peak at launch, and also a higher amount of people having skinning, this will create a massive supply of rugged hides, and you can grab some super cheap rugged hides, and these will go up in price over time. Next up, buy all of the Blasted Lands materials required for Blasted Lands consumables. This is once again based on people leveling, and a lot of people will level up in Blasted Lands and obtain these materials, creating a very high supply for them, and the fact is that these will be used within raiding throughout all of Season of Mastery. Keeping up with the consumables, I would also recommend you buy any cheap Winterfall Firewater you come across on the auction house. Essence of Water is also a really decent investment, and even Essence of Undeath as well, as that is generally useless, but once people obtain the recipe to transmute Undeath to Water, they become more and more valuable over time, and at the beginning of the game they will sell for close to vendor price. There are obviously more items to invest in, but for investing I really like to keep it simple and look at which items are guaranteed to go up in price, but that being said I do have a bunch of other investments included in my gold making guide, which also includes the, the best investment. And the gold making guide itself is linked down below for those of you who want more high risk, high reward investments as well as just other items to put your gold into. That is pretty much it though, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you make absolute bank in Season of Mastery. If you did in fact enjoy the video, please consider dropping a like on it, it really helps out my channel and I honestly really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for even more Season of Mastery content, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.